And so our first school here is uh, Nueva. And so a brief introduction uh, on Nueva is that one key point is that they do have an emphasis on IQ tests and uh, personalized classes. Just to get the chat going, if you wanted to, uh, you can type a one in the chat box if your student has taken an IQ test in the past and a two if no. Uh, it is definitely not uncommon for, a, new, uh, for a, a school that focuses on giftedness or SEL to have IQ tests, but Nueva's is definitely very in-depth, very detailed. There's a lot of points to talk about, which we will uh, tackle in the next slide. Uh, more about their brief information. They have two campuses, one in Hillsboro and then one in San Mateo. And then their acceptance rate for pre-K to grade one is between 20% and 50%, which is a big gap. These are the numbers that were given to us th uh, through the school. And then their teacher to student ratio is actually very good at one to five. That is very low. Uh, all of these schools that we're talking about today do have low teacher to student ratios. Uh, anything below one to 10 is, is fantastic. And their total students is 930, which is the most out of all the schools, but that's because Nueva is the only school we're talking about today that has a high school grades 9 through 12 as well. All the other schools go up until grade 8. As well, 80% uh, of their teachers hold advanced degrees, and uh, the main grade entrances is K, 6, and 9, with 20 being admitted for grade K, 20 to 25 for grade 6, and then 45 for grade 9. Since Nueva is the only school that mentions the college admission, uh, or as a high school, we are talking about a little bit about their college admission as well. Uh, so for below, as you can see here, there are the tuition rates for each kind of segment of Nueva. But for the UC admission rate in 2021, there was uh, 16, about a little over 16 and a half percent of students were admitted to UC Berkeley who applied. And then around a little more than 17% of students who applied to UCLA were admitted. And then we also from the school have information on their Ivy League numbers. This is over the last four years. There's been 11 into Brown, seven into Columbia, three into Cornell, four Dartmouth, eight for Harvard, eight Princeton, and then seven each again for UPenn and Yale. And then we also have uh, admission numbers for Stanford over the last four years because Stanford is a very popular school in the Bay Area. We've had, they, Nueva has had 45 students get admitted uh, into Stanford over the last four years, which is definitely very fantastic. That is a very uh, high number. But now that we've kind of gone over some brief information, uh, let's get into uh, the slide on their IQ test. So a couple quick facts for the IQ test. I know based off the admission season, maybe some of the parents in the chat right now have already applied for Nueva. And so they already know this information, but I do know that there's a lot of parents who are planning ahead uh, a year or two ahead. So they may not know this. So I'll go over this very quickly, but IQ tests for Nueva are required for grades pre-K through grade eight. Uh, and the test can be taken at, a, at the school or for uh, at an outside professional institution if approved. Uh, and then for the pricing, it is cheaper to go through the school. It's $350 for under six, $450 for over six. And then for outside location, it can run you at about uh, $1,000. And then another key point here about Nueva is that there is no preparation for the IQ test uh, allowed. There is spotters that can uh, notice whether if the student has been uh, briefed on this information before, and if they are, uh, they will not be considered for admission. And then a little bit of information on their cutoff line that they state it is 130 IQ. However, based off a lot of the parents that we've talked to, the sweet spot for the IQ test is uh, between a 135 and a 140. So that is just something to keep in mind. And as you can see below, this is just a general graph for a percentage of people who just take an IQ test in general, where they where they score around 2% of people, a little bit more than 2% score between that 130 to 140 range. So that's also just something to keep in mind. Next, we will go into some of these uh, SEL slash gifted student uh, focuses and characteristics. So as we said, they do have a lot of personalized classes where they try to make the curriculum tailored towards the individual student, make sure that they're getting as many resources as they need uh, to help pursue uh, their individual uh, educational path, making sure that they have all of the utilities available. And they also have a very project-based learning focus uh, that tailors to the SEL to make sure they're 
communicating uh, with uh, their fellow students. And then another key point here is that there is more attention to correct thinking method rather than a speedy curriculum. They wanna make sure that students have the basic thinking method process down because that is arguably more important than just getting the right answer super quickly. Now, obviously, if the student is doing both the correct thinking method and they're doing it fast, the curriculum can move fast because it's personalized to the student's speed. However, they wanna make sure they have the basics uh, uh, thinking method down first. And then another key point, since there are personalized classes, they don't have standard textbooks. It's all kind of personalized towards the student again. And then there's also no exams until around grade nine. Uh, and they actually, until grade nine, they implement a pass, no pass system. Uh, the only test that's administered, it's not for a grade, it's just for a report. It's an ERB, Educational uh, Records Bureau test that is given from grade three uh, onwards, which essentially just gives the parent a personalized academic performance report to see how the student is doing uh, on each subject just for their own uh, personal knowledge. And then lastly, they do have a very detailed SEL program. Uh, a couple of the key points that their SEL program does focus on is uh, conflict uh, management and kind of relationship building with other students. Uh, it is harder for some gifted students to kind of express themselves, especially if it's a topic that they're very uh, talented in, but they're trying to explain it to a student that maybe not be on exactly that, that same level for that specific topic. So it, they're trying to teach students to, instead of say like, hey, I'm right, you're wrong. They say, hey, that is a very good point. However, this is kind of what I believe. And this is obviously a very good life skill to learn because uh, this helps build relationships, helps uh, establish friendships so that you can work together and create that teamwork and that synergy that will definitely be a great life skill that will last for um, into the higher school grades and obviously in the real world. And then lastly here, we have a couple quotes uh, from parents uh, regarding feedback of Nueva. I won't read the whole quotes because you guys can obviously read it uh, right there. I'll just go over some of the key points. So for the first, uh, the first parent says that the learning progress is adjusted according to the progress of the entire class. If it's fast, uh, the, the, if the students are fast, the, 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 the teacher will go fast, but if there's a problem, the teacher will definitely slow it down. And then the second quote says uh, that if your child is particularly excellent, the teaching content is also different from other children and there'll be separate plans. So that's obviously the personalized education coming into practice right there. And then this final quote says, teachers will use different methods to strengthen uh, teaching from different angles. And then also, uh, furthermore, they pay attention to their math learning habits to make sure that for the subject of math, uh, they're getting the, the proper path that is needed for, for each student based off the, the learning habits and kind of the learning patterns of each student. Uh, so that is, that is it for the Nueva school individually, but let's go into our second school.